go first. I guess we'll stop off at uh, Jasmine's first. Oops, bridal suite. Got no business there anymore, Larry. Sadly. You let yourself in. Larry, I was wondering where you'd gone. You have anything for me? I made your whale throw up. But yes, I do. Oh, dear Larry. Here you are, Jasmine. Take a whiff of this. You pull out your eau de Larry and lay it on Use her. your smell icon <gasps> on this. What is this? Jasmine. I call it eau de Larry. Larry, oh, de Larry, ooh. Did someone just yodel? Anyway, it's oh, the first Larry. in my new line. Really? I didn't realize you were a parfumier. Why, yes. Yes, I am. Ever since before. before. And I created this scent just for you. In fact, I've created several scents today just thinking about you. But this is the only one I bottled. Intriguing. Jasmine opens the bottle, waves it in the air, and inhales the lingering aroma. You bad boy. It's Jasmine. What else? She inhales again. And is that civet? Sort of. Ooh la la. And there's something else. Tabasco? Well, maybe a just residual, a little. residual, yeah. Do you like it? It's a very unusual combination. There's something else. Something rare and valuable. That's right. Wow, Jasmine, your nostrils are like two beautiful bloodhounds. My god, you know just what to say, don't you? Is that amber grease? Exactly. How exotic. And it's from Mr. Wiggles, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Huge whale like that. Oh, no. You just give him a little bitty bottle of tasteless Larry. butt burner hot sauce. What? Of course, you can't dilute it in the aquarium water. You have to pour it straight <laughs> oh, into the blowhole. No, what? You gave hot sauce to Mr. Wiggles? You screaming douche puppet! Screaming what now? How dare you assault a defenseless whale! Defenseless? He weighs 40 tons! <laughs> Mr. Wiggles is my best friend! Oh. You're horrible! I never want to see you again! Get out and don't come back! So I bet you don't want to know how I got the civet. Get out! <laughs> just walks out. How about we make passionate love just once, for old time's sake? Get out! Get out! Was that just for points? All right. I guess that was just for points. Some slightly new, I mean, very new content. Not a lot of it, but whatever. I'm so sorry, but your breath. I think I'm going to asphyxiate. Yeah, what's well, one more for old time's sake? I can't strike out twice in this hotel three times in this hotel excuse me yeah, baby. is that the last ah. of it nope. got just what you want you yeah, hand baby. over the Face. spanish fly what's this recreational drugs she opens the bottle and examines the pills this looks like the real stuff she pops one of the pills oh yes I can feel it working. I feel so warm and tingly inside. So ready. Oh, so anxious. Larry, this is a good I don't thing. Know how much longer I can help myself. This is just what I need to put me in the mood. Smell your Thank fingers. You. Are you ready? I sure am. Job be damned. I need it. And I need it now. I'm going home and giving one of these to my boyfriend. We're gonna tear up the sheets. Thanks again. These are great. What? Oh but well, I... there are millions of fish in the sea, Larry. His boots. Yeah, but she had something special. Live ammo. Well, if nothing else, her post is now unguarded. This button won't depress. There's a little keyhole nearby, so apparently this button is in locked position. Forget about it, Larry. You'll never get in there. Huh. Wonder what that's about. How about this one? You press the button, and the penthouse elevator door slides open. Aha! Progress! Mm -hmm. My catchphrase. Yeah, baby! You travel a short distance up in the elevator, down a hall, into another elevator, and up another flight. Whoa! This is totally wicked! Someday, it's gonna be me living in one of these places. And then, 
Watch out, pedestrians. Larry Laffer has a balcony. You're gonna throw things from your balcony? There's that guy. This painting is simply entitled Penis. Well, I don't get it. It's a thinker. The artist Justin McMiniman entitled this piece Juice Box. He claims it sums up contemporary American culture as unhealthy, mass-produced, and environmentally ignorant. Another in the Justin McMiniman series, this one is entitled Blow Me. I didn't he describes the painting as a celebration of the jug as a traditional American woodwind instrument. He also likes that a jug reminds him of boobies. That's true. Another in the Justin McMillan series, Lisa. this one is entitled 1%. He later explained in an interview that the painting expresses his inner torment that only 1% of women have jugs this large. He also likes it because a jug reminds him of a woman's breasticle. One track mine, that guy. Not us. Now let's go find a woman to have... to try to have sex with. Where do I go? How's this place laid out? The sliding door is unlocked. Oh man, bummer. I spent this whole night looking for a door I can open by sliding a newspaper underneath and poking the key out the other side of the keyhole Did you? so that it falls on the newspaper. Every computer game character gets to do that except me. It isn't fair. Oh well, let's see the deck. You step out onto the balcony and an incredible vista greets you. Holy shnikes! You take in the sweeping skyline, the towering eight-floor casino, the brunette in the hot tub at the neighboring penthouse. That is positively the most drop-dead gorgeous woman I have ever seen. Back of her head, Imagine how beautiful she must be when you're standing within a hundred feet of her. <laughs> Larry, haven't you learned not to judge someone by looks alone? I can't hear you! La 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 la! It's hard to be seductive when you're shouting at the top hey, of the Hey, baby, line. what's your sign? All right. Can I smell her from here? From here, she just smells like casino fumes. <laughs> All right, so the other one was clearly her penthouse. Well, what are we going to do? You open the sliding glass. Is there more to this place? Huh. Okay. It well, this... smells very strongly of other people's bedroom. There have been men and women together in here. You can tell. It sure is swank, though. And from the artwork, I'm pretty sure this is a man's room. Regular it detective. smells familiar. Keep it quiet. You never know who might be under the bed. What? Didn't mean to do that. You've already broken in. Now you're going to defile the man's mattress? <laughs> what John Waters movie did you just crawl out of? From the aroma of the bed, you're guessing. Ew. All right, so spanking the monkey. This is a print entitled "Bad Mr. Winky" by Jason Zisk, who went on to design a line of offensive greeting cards, offensive samplers, and offensive doilies. I should have bungeed over to her place. Why did you get rid of all your bungee equipment, Larry? Yes, yes, this is so true about dogs and the way they hide bones. It's like. Why did you ask for the bone if you were just going to bury it? Finally, a piece of art that really speaks to me about life. Wow. How oh, you been bottling that one up, Larry? Good lord. This is a I print of Alex him. Kotkin's still life, The Fruit of My Loins, 1979, $240 at the Wolfenfrau Gallery. Someone sounds like a connoisseur, a word we all learned. You open the closet door. Tonight? A deflated love doll tumbles out onto the floor. Ever the gentleman, you help her up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Hey, baby. You're beautiful. Wanna come with me? You nod her head. Score! You tuck the love doll into your jacket. At least now you don't have to go through the rest of this game alone. You close the closet door. That's better. Now there's less evidence that I've been here. Alright. I have a deflated blow-up doll, and I have a means to inflate. I'm human. You'll know when the time is right? Yeah, baby. We like gonna 
float across to Eve's penthouse. You stop. All right. So we left the bedroom, came out here, and now we're blowing up the doll. The love doll with the helium. Let's try this. And the two of you lift gently there you off go. the deck together alternate and float solution. The air. It's a good thing you've always been a lightweight. Whee! Extra little tweak. I like you this. You sail closer and closer to the woman of your dreams. Unfortunately, somebody chewed a couple of it's extra like the, oh. orifices in the poor thing. Well, at least you can say that you left a lasting impression on lost wages. It was like a. It was like a Mary Poppins and Larry mashup, and then everything went horribly wrong. So this thing has... Okay. Or Brazil's chewing a couple holes. Oh no! How are we gonna patch that up? Nothing in our pants at the moment. Hmm. What would Rabbi... Leibowitz do? Whatever our name was. You give you got my come and get. You what? give you got my wallet, got my breath spray, and I'm filled with vitamin Larry. Come and get me, ladies. No, how do you like to be filled with vitamin Larry? Joke. You go down in the elevator through a hallway through a set of double Larry doors flapping. up a spiral stair. Like that. <laughs> um. Is the, uh, I didn't mean to go here. I was trying to go to the, um, back to what's her name's place. Use your Already blocked her name out because she can't. All right, I was going to say there's got to be something that she gives to us. Hopefully it's a repair kit for my sex doll. You snag the little kit. Or would that be a little too, what kind of kit is it? Latex repair kit, such as you find a swimming pool in Michael Jackson's makeup case. Fantastic. All right. By the patches. Yeah, Doesn't baby. hold. Almost as good as new. It's becoming very becoming. Fantastic. Well, that was easy. Didn't even have to leave the building. All right. Now let's float a. Across the uh, the roof to Eve's. Wonder what her sign is. You press the. Sounds like a sad Irish violin tune there at the beginning. But anyway, all right, this should work. You inflate the love doll with the helium. It empties the canister, so you toss it away. To our Larry. No, and Larry. here, nearly 100 feet up in the mysterious troposphere, <laughs> the breeze and swirling air currents begin to tug at the love doll. Get a good look at her while you still can. She's beautiful. She looks like a sultry beach ball. No one's ever gotten me like you do. Blowy. You squish her face around a little and it pops right back into place. That's sexy and disturbing. So, when did you first come out of the closet? Oh, like she doesn't hear that all the time. She smells like a new shower curtain. It's better than what she could smell like. Well, <laughs> am I flying through the air right now? In which case... As you wish. Definitely. You gently lay her on a convenient chaise lounge and have your way with her. Afterwards, there's the usual whine of, Why won't you cuddle with me? But she flatly refuses. <laughs> Our usual whine. Something to tell the grandkids. <laughs> yep. That's uh, what future Larry had just done, and then the grandkids dumped him at the casino and said, Never talk to us again, Grandpa. Never again. All right, let's float a good stiff breeze. to a real woman. Is there any other kind? Kicks up and almost tears her from your hands. Thanks to the lift coefficient generated by your leisure suit's enormous lapels, you feel yourself being pulled upward. 
The love doll catches a convenient crosswind and she carries Fine you up, up and away. It's a good thing you've always been a lightweight. You sail closer and closer to the woman Larry of Larry Fappens. Let's fly a blow up doll. Whee! You touch down gently on the other deck and stick the landing. You release the love doll and she floats away gently in the moonlight. The woman in the hot tub looks mightily impressed with your dramatic entrance. <laughs> Does she? Godspeed, Blowy. Hope you find your special someone. Hello. Yeah, the two of you make direct eye contact. A short it's on like points a bolt here of at the end. goes into your eyes, down your body, and blows your toes off. She gazes at you with amusement and smoldering interest. All right. Her face smells extremely symmetrical. That doesn't make any sense, does it? This is the most perfect face you've ever seen on anything. Jasmine was pretty. Hamana, hamana, hamana. Hello yourself. I'm Eve. Standard introduction. <laughs> so I uh, just dropped in to say hello. Get it? Dropped in? Larry, it was one of the most foolish, spectacular romances. It was so amazing, I already seen. know your name somehow. And I'll never forget it. <laughs> well, it kills the mood a little when you do that. I can't help it. Tell her about Spielberg, Larry. Hey, gorgeous. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Hi, Larry. What an attractive leisure suit. Oh, I so miss them. Finally! It's refreshing to meet a man with so much self-confidence that he's willing to flaunt the fickle trends of fashion mores and deeply travel the road of his own secure masculinity. Was she talking to you, <laughs> That's Larry? me to a T, baby. Well, uh, Eve, I've always felt um, it's a look that's right for me. A man has to do what a man has to do. That's what I always say. I agree completely. I'm so tired of men who wear or say anything just to gain a woman's favors. Hate him. You clearly would never do anything like that, Larry. And I so love what you are wearing. You have a sense of humor. Oh, Larry. You are one special man. And we're I've honest. I've been watching you, Larry. <laughs> have you? Larry Laffer. You try too hard, but you have a good heart. Why don't you slip into this water and we'll see if we can really get to know each other. What? Uh, yes. Of course I'd like to join you. In fact, I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. I'm the kind of guy who would put hot sauce in a whale's blowhole just to make it vomit, and then I'd tell you about it, Eve. That's the kind of specimen you're working with here. Yeah, let me get in the water. This reminds me of a big glass of champagne. You can join me, if you promise not to add any bubbles of your own. Gross. Give me a minute, Don't keep me waiting too long there. All right, yeah, let's get in the water. Slow down, boy. Yeah. The water is just a little under body temperature. Immersing yourself would be immensely oh. pleasurable. Well, let's do it. You quickly check your f zips up. You quickly check your fl zips up. Zips up. You strip off your jacket. There we go. You strip off the rest of your clothes. Yeah, baby. Don't think that was deep enough for diving, but you slip into the hot tub. You take no time to adjust to the water's temperature, since you really can't feel anything right now except the deafening beat of your own heart. That's better. Isn't it? It's, it's... Yeah, baby. Yeah. <sighs> That's fun. You turn the valve a little. What's this do? There. Isn't that better? You turn the valve a little. You don't like so many bubbles? You turn the valve a little. You don't like the way I had it set? <laughs> Where is this gonna end? Is she gonna murder me? Put it back right now, Larry! You turn the valve a little. That's fine. You turn the valve a little. Okay, that's good. Oh. You turn the valve a little. Really? 
You turn the valve a little. Fine. You turn the valve a little. What are you up to? <laughs> you turn the valve Who a little. Who set you? Larry, what are you doing? Where are the drugs You turn going? the valve a little and the bubbles shut off entirely. Oh. Larry, I think oh. you did that deliberately. Oh. I'm going to tell my friend Roberta on you. Williams? If you turn the bubbles back on, she'll think you don't like looking at her nipples. <laughs> so try not to be an idiot. <laughs> that sentence. If you turn the bubbles back on, she'll think you don't like looking at her nipples. Like, oh god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's amazing. Take this apple. Yep. At the risk of appearing trite, would you like an apple? Trite? Yes, my lord. I've been waiting for something. Anything from you, Larry. Besides, I'm horny as hell, and you're the only man in sight. Let's go. Me first. And with that, she disappears under the churning water. I hope you like spaghettini, baby. <laughs> spaghettini. Fiscally responsible. Congratulations, you finally got Larry off to a great start. I'm Al Lowe. And speaking of great starts, I want to thank the thousands of Kickstarter backers who made this game possible. And the amazing, talented folks whose names will soon appear here. Thank you for reloading Leisure Suit Larry. That was fun. Oh wow, I got a crap ton of points just now. Al Lowe, playing us out. Joining us, maybe? <laughs> there goes my blow-up doll. Godspeed, Blowy. Wherever you land, Godspeed. Hello and Josh Mandel. I enjoyed that. I like the new content. Little extra touches here and there. Keeping it fresh. I like the art style. That was fun. Would have been cool if they had gone through the rest of the series like that. Hell, let's do every original Sierra game. Give every single one of them a new once over. I didn't actually even know this was a thing, I don't think. I guess I'd seen the name reload it, and I was like, ah, oh, it's just some unofficial thing. Didn't know this was Aloe. Jan Raps and Larry Laffer and the Short Man. I want to see how many voices Josh Mandel did. Sometimes we give our hearts Was he just... Oh, he's just a comedian, okay. To any Johnny come lately with a pretty face and a good story down a bit. So Aloe as himself there in the end. Sly little guy. I like to call well, there's going to be a ton of credits. <laughs> so, uh, I <laughs> think we'll sign off now. Big thanks one final time to Boston Lowe for gifting me this game, making this possible. And yes, tune in next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.